That's good. You've got to be twice, three, four times as loud. Get the vocal cords going. Get your cameras ready. Here they are. The Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team for 2016. It's the Red Arrows. to pull up at 400 miles an hour and four times the force of gravity. Reaching 6,000 foot at the apex of the loop now, the jets slow down to about 150 miles per hour, closing to around six feet away from each other as they form our trademark diamond nine shape in the sky. At the front of the formation is Red One, squadron leader David Montenegro. It's his second year as the team's leader. He is a former Hawk flying instructor and Tornado F3 air defense pilot. He first joined the team in 2009, leaving in 2011, having led the Synchro pair. The smoke comes on to your front right as the three aircraft on each wing now drop back to form the shape of the space shuttle. A little bit more about Red One, Monty. When he left the team, he then moved on to be an instructor teaching on the Tucano, on which we teach basic fast jet training. Now coming in from the right, we're ready to fly the shuttle roll. All nine jets now going upside down. Beautiful red color there as the sun shines on the fuselage of those jets. They're flying at 400 miles an hour, aiming at 2,500 feet. The jets only six feet away from each other in that space shuttle shape. At the front of the right-hand wing of shuttle is Red 2, who is the first of our two new pilots this year. He's Flight Lieutenant Matt Masters. Matt started his career instructing on the Tucano, where we teach our basic fast jet training. He then became a Tornado F3 air defense pilot before then moving on to fly the Hawk on number 100 squadron, another Royal Air Force Hawk squadron. Looking high and left now, another shape is formed which was given its name back in the 1960s when NASA's Apollo program was in full swing. It represents the shape of the lunar landing craft from the Apollo missions and we've put it in the display this year to celebrate the achievements of Major Tim Peake and his journey aboard the International Space Stations. So now, coming in from the left, celebrating Major Tim's achievements and Britain's latest involvement in the space program. This is Apollo! You hear Reds 2 and 3 acknowledge this next move. They do so with a very set cadence in their voices. The idea is that the pilots continue counting in their heads using that cadence. On the count of four, they extend their air brakes. On the count of six, they retract their air brakes. That means they drop back at the right rate to form this shape, which depicts the delta wing platform of the Royal Air Force's multi-role combat aircraft. And it'll soon be presenting platform to you. Hello, Tr Coming in from the left now with some red and white smoke. This is Typhoon. front of the left hand wing of Typhoon is the second of our new pilots. He's Red 3, Flight Lieutenant Cy Taylor. Cy started off as a Tornado GR4 pilot, but then he moved across to fly the Typhoon, starting on the front line with number 3 squadron, and then becoming an instructor on number 29 squadron, the operational conversion unit. Over to the right now, you see another shape is formed, ready for a brand new manoeuvre for 2016, which celebrates the Royal Air Force's fast jet workhorse. Since 1991 and the start of the first Gulf War, the Royal Air Force's Tornado Bomber Force has been on continuous operations for those 25 years. So celebrating the Tornado Bomber Force, this is Tornado!
Well, six of the nine pilots you're watching just now are in fact former Tornado bomber pilots. One of them is Red 5, who's at the front left of the seven arrow shape at the front of Tornado. Red 5 is Flight Lieutenant Emmett Cox. He's actually from New Zealand, but he moved to the UK in 2002 to join the Royal Air Force and became a Tornado pilot and then across to Phoenix on the Takano. Looking to the left now, you see another shape is formed. The three aircraft on each wing dropping to the very back of the formation, a beam Red 7's jet. Now normally, the pilots have a very stable platform next to Red 1's jet where they take their references. In this shape, the pilots always take their references from Red 1's aeroplane. The three aircraft on each wing are at least 120 feet back from Red 1's jet now, but they still fly off Red 1's jet for references. So they trust the pilot only six feet away is in the correct place. So it's a very difficult shape to fly. So your front left. Pulling up at 4G. This is Swan. Another shape change takes place now through the vertical. Reds 2, 3, 4 and 5 moving to the front of the formation. Reds 8 and 9 tuck in at the back. And you can see as they go through the apex again slowing down to 150 miles per hour at 6,000 feet. A very definite feathered arrow shape. Well, feathered arrow is a bit of a mouthful to say on the radio. So we call this formation Fred. Fred is Red 9, flight lieutenant Joe Hurston. Joe is in his third and final year with the team. He's a former Hawk flying instructor teaching on this version of Hawk, the Hawk T-Mark 1. He then flew the Tornado GR4 but then went back to the Hawk, this time in its new guys, the Royal Air Force's newest advanced jet trainer, the Hawk T-Mark 2. And that's him climbing to the top as we look at it with the smoke on as we form another shape which is reminiscent of the 1960s Royal Naval fighter, the de Havilland Sea Vixen. This was a twin boomed fighter, red six and seven, representing that twin tail boom shape. It's called Big Vixen, and this is the Big Vixen roll. Upside down again, fabulous red cover color there, 400 miles an hour in that brilliant Big Vixen shape, one of my favourite shapes. The far right of Big Vixen is Red 8, flight after it's Stu Campbell. It's Stu's third and final year in the team. He is a former Tucano flying instructor and Tucano display pilot. Then he flew the Tornado GR4 with number 617, the Dam Busters Squadron, before he joined the Red Arrows. Well, Dornish, that's the end of the first part of the Red Arrows display. Have we enjoyed it so far? Lovely jubbly. Well now it's about to get even better if we split down into sections of between two and seven jets for some even more dynamic...